All right, what's going on everyone on YouTube at NES Wheeler? I figured we'd come and do a Blu-ray shelf video today, and this will be the first shelf of my Blu-ray collection. Uh, we got three shelves done in my DVD collection, so I thought we'd, you know, um, spice it up a little bit and come do the first shelf of my Blu-rays, because my Blu-rays and my DVDs are separated, and um, I've moved a lot of movies over in my DVDs, so some of the movies are going to be repeated from my fourth part of my shelf collection, but I apologize for that, but when we get to it, you'll see what I'm talking about. So I figured we'd come do the first part of my Blu-ray shelf, so let's get into that shit right now. First we got the Shelf Factory release of A Boy and His Dog. Sorry about the shadow. Uh, this movie is fucking awesome. Um, it's so good. Uh, may make my top 20 list of favorite films ever. This movie's fucking amazing. Um, Adventureland, another movie that makes my top 20 favorite films of all time. Um, this movie's just fantastic. It's just a really good, um, coming-of-age story. Adventures of Tintin, I don't know why I have that. It's a pretty interesting, good animation, though. Got a Clockwork Orange Digibook. Another film that's definitely in my top 20 list of favorite films. Um, brilliant movie. Oh, across the universe, I have to get rid of that. I don't know why I have that. Uh, Almost Famous. Um, this movie's fucking amazing. Um, so good. Uh, an awesome story about um, a kid following... A kid who likes to write about music. And he follows this band around um, in the 70s. This is fantastic. Uh, a Lonely Place to Die. Uh, IFC Midnight. Pretty good. Alter States. Um, this movie's fucking trippy as hell. Super, 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 super strange. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, Alien. The slipcover. Aliens. And Alien 3. I don't think you get these with the slips anymore, so that's cool to have. Uh, the American. Gotta get rid of that. <laughs> uh, American Horror Story Season 1. Haven't watched that yet, but heard of good things. Um, American Pie and American Pie 2. Classic films, classic comedies, have to have those. Speaking of classic comedies, Animal House. Fucking awesome film. Love it. Hilarious. Uh, American Kingdom. This is an Australian flick. Um, Australian mob type film. Um, really good. Really fucking awesome. Uh, I liked it a lot. Really good. Uh, we have Lars von Trier's Antichrist, um, put out by Criterion. Um, this movie is interesting here. Let me turn off my TV screen. Maybe that will uh, reflect the glare a little bit. Um, yeah, this movie was hyped up a lot. It has pretty awesome cinematography in the first few minutes. And um, it's really good. It's not von Trier's best film, but um, it's definitely up there. Every Von Trier movie is good, which I'm looking forward to Necromaniac in fucking a month or so, so that should be cool. ATM, um, IFC Midnight. Uh, this movie has a lot of talk. Um, I think it's okay. It's nothing the best. Had a cool concept, but uh, shitty acting definitely killed it. Austin Powers triple feature. Uh, these were the comedies of my generation for sure. I'm not a huge fan of Goldmember, but um, the first two definitely classics. I I love those films. Uh, Babel. Uh, when this came out in 2006, this was actually my favorite film of the year. Uh, I love this film. Um, really good. Basically, three stories from three different people in the world. Um, really good. I really like that. Uh, Bad Lieutenant with Nicolas Cage. Um, this movie has a lot of talk. I know Moods doesn't like it very much, but... Uh, Barney's Version with Paul Giamatti. Um, it's pretty... It's okay. It's not... I don't know why I have that. Alright, now we get to the tight movies. So, I apologize. Let me take one of these out so it have a little bit of movement here. Uh, I can take this one out. Please bear with me here. Got Back to the Future, of course, have to have it. It's the original fat release with the stupid snap case. Uh, we got Batman and Batman. Re no, no, I don't have 
Yeah, let me let me switch these around. Batman returns to Steelbook. And Batman Begins. Um, the Batman movies are okay. You know, they're nothing ball blasting. But, um, yeah. Battle Royale. This movie is fucking awesome. So good. Uh, I love this film. It's fucking brutal. The Beaver. I don't know why I have that. Gotta get rid of that. Uh, Beetlejuice. Classic. Uh, quite a bit of Beetlejuice 2 news out right now with Buster Keaton talking with Tim Burton. So I'm really curious to see how that plays out. Richard Link's later is Bernie. Um, this movie's fucking awesome too. Awesome performances by Jack Black and uh, Shirley MacLaine. Really awesome Link later film, but all Link later films are good. So Big Lebowski Digibook. This transfer has had a lot of shit, but uh, I love this film. Awesome Cronen Cohen Brothers movie. John Carpenter's Big Trouble in Little China, classic. Um, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, definitely another one that makes in my top 20. Love this film. Uh, hopefully Bogus Journey gets a release sooner or later, but I don't think that's going to happen. But Awesome. Love that film. Next we have Bitch Slapped. Uh, this got a Blu-ray release way late, later than the DVD, but uh, I haven't watched this yet, so curious. Uh, Harvey Aldo barred them in beautiful, beautiful, um, depressing drama. It's pretty good. And we have Blade 1, Blade 2, and Blade Trinity. Um, they're okay films. They're definitely not perfect. Blade 1's fun, I guess. Blues Brothers classic film. Um, another one that makes my top 20. The Bo Boggin Boogans. Sent to me. This one was sent to me by Willie Mark One, aka uh, Scotty. Thanks so much for that, bud. That was awesome. Breaking Bad Season One and Breaking Bad Season Two. Haven't watched it yet, but I bought those to watch sooner or later because all the hype that they have. Um, a movie that's definitely my top three favorite films of all times. Breakfast Club. I love this film. Um, think it's masterful. I love it. Love that movie. Bugs Life, a definitely an underrated Pixar film. Um, really good. Got Buster Keaton, the short film collection put out by Kino. Awesome set. I love me some Buster Keaton. Really nice and awesome set. Got Barry Ryan Reynolds. Uh, this movie's fun. Um, I think it's an interesting concept. And there's tons of ripoffs of it now. So that's kind of lame. Let me put this... Movie we'll back in the shelf. One sec. Just gotta cram them in when you have so many movies. Um, we got The Burning put out by Scream Factory. This one was sent to me by Moods. Fun slasher. Um, often talked about being one of the best slashers ever. Cadillac Records. This is a Chicago based movie, of course, about the uh, chess records. Um, it's pretty okay. Camp Nowhere, uh, classic 90s cheese. Casablanca, uh, I had this when it was out of print. Now it's back in print, so it's not really that rare anymore, but I just kept it anyway, because it's classic. Cabin in the Woods, The Slip. Uh, this movie's fucking fun. The CGI kinda, kill, kinda killed it for me, but um, it's really good. Flip this around here. Got Carlos put up by Criterion. This is an awesome, um, long, like three and a half hour epic about uh, uh, Ramirez Sanchez, who was the terrorist back in the day. Really awesome film. Really good. This is the first Blu ray I ever bought, and that's uh, Cheech and Chong's Hey, What's This? Watch this. This is the uh, like stand up act of Cheech and Chong that was done. I guess a little fucking five years ago already, so it's okay. It's not their best work. Children in the Corn 3. Uh, I sh showed the other Children in the Corn, I think, one of my updates. Child's Play Collection. Um, awesome release. You guys know Child's Play is my favorite series, so had to grab this set the first day it came out. Awesome. Uh, we have the Comic-Con 2013 Child's Play exclusive release. Uh, you can only get this at Comic-Con in 2013. It's obviously out of print now. 
Of course, I'm not going to open it because I have fucking every other release of it, but comes in a black case. Awesome. Um, I think it's just the same disc, but comes with a sick slip cover, so had to get that. The original Child's Play release. The Twilight Time of Christine. Yes, this movie has lots of controversy, this release, but I had to get it when it came out. I knew it was going to be going for $100 like it is today. So I had to grab it, even though um, a lot of people hate Twilight Time because of that reason. But had to have it. Had to grab it. Clerks. Classic, classic film. I forgot that I even had this movie. I think I made my own. If I'm correct, I made my own combo pack from my old DVD and Blu-ray. So, Just a classic film. I love that. The Collector and the Collection. These films are fun, fucking, really interesting. Definitely want to talk about those in the podcast one day. Um, I really like those films. I actually saw The Collection in theaters, which had a f didn't do so well. But Got The Conjuring. Um, definitely this movie has a lot of hype right now. Um, I've talked about this on the podcast. If you guys want to listen to it. Uh... Steven Strodenberg's Contagion. This movie is fucking awesome. I love this film. It's not getting enough fucking talk. Um, it's it's just amazing. I love that film. Uh, Corpse Bride, Tim Burton. Um, awesome. Oh, Cosmopolis. Ooh, this film is interesting. Um, it's definitely a film you need to watch multiple times to understand. Uh, ugh, I don't know about that one still. I have to watch it again. Got the Crazies remake. We got Crumb put out by Criterion. This is an awesome documentary about Robert Crumb, who was a comic book, um, who was an artist back in the 90s. This was made in 95, so really awesome documentary. We got Cyrus with um, John C. Riley, of course, who's probably one of my favorite actors. This film is fun. Um, Jonah Hill's really cool. I know he turned down The Hangover to be in this movie, so... And we got Cube that was sent to me by Moods. Didn't get a Blu-ray release here in the States, but it did in Canada. So that is my first row of my Blu-ray collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at twitter.com slash NESRuler22. And I should talk to you guys soon with another video. See you guys later.